Today, part 10 of how much is my slab collection worth? Stick around. DJ Links is in the building. Before we continue on, make sure you head on over to djlinks.bigcartel.com and pick up your Austin LeMay limited edition 11 by 17 art print. The art print is limited to 50 pieces with 100% of the proceeds going to comics curing cancer. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Links back in the building, back in effect, DJ and back Link. with another video. And today, part 10 of how much is my slab collection worth? I hope you've been enjoying the series. I've had a lot of fun putting it together. And without further ado, we're gonna dive around right in with the first slab and the first slab we have up this was a super impulsive buy i saw this image on instagram and then i googled it went to ebay and bought it i was just like yo this is the greatest cover i've ever seen in my life and that is secret wars number four from 2015 a variant a comic exposure variant and this is del lotto like legit that was the first time i ever seen this image on Instagram and I knew I had to get this in the PC. An absolutely fantastic cover with two of my favorite characters ever, which is Thanos and the Silver Surfer. I needed this in the PC. Jonathan Hickman's story, Esad, Rabic art, Gabriel Dalato cover. This of course in a CGC 9.8 white pages. This is an absolute banger right here. And this is valued at $199. From one Silver Surfer cover to another Silver Surfer cover. And this is the absolute classic Silver Surfer number one from 1968. The first Silver Surfer solo series, the first issue in that series. And I picked this up recently. This is in a CGC 6.0 off white the white pages absolutely tremendous this was on my 2024 grail list want list whatever you want to call it and i was just like yo i need this now glad i pulled the trigger on it got it for a great great price here on the side it says origin of the silver surfer tales of the watcher begins origin of the watchers stanley story john bushima cover john bushima joe sinnott gene colin and sid shores art this is just a banger classic classic covers one of the best covers ever out of marvel history and i just absolutely love this this according to cover price is valued at 679 dollars and 23 cents next up another silver surfer from that volume one run and this is silver surfer number three from 1968 first appearance of mephisto CGC 6.0 off white the white pages from December of 1968. Mephisto, El Diablo. Ah. I bought this at my LCS. I saw the price and I was just like, that can't be right. So I went home and it was just bugging me the entire time. And legit, I just went back that same day and picked it up. Big shout out to Royal Collectibles, my LCS. First appearance of Mephisto, Tales of the Watcher, Backup Story, Stanley Story, John Bushima Cover, John Bushima, Joe Sinnott, Gene Colan, and Paul Ryman Art. And this is absolutely absolutely classic material right here the value on this bad boy three hundred and sixty nine dollars and twenty cents now this right here is one of my favorite covers of all time one of my favorite storylines of all time of course it includes silver surfer and thanos this is silver surfer number 44 from silver surfer volume 3 from december of 1990 this is the first appearance of the infinity gauntlet classic cover right here with thanos silver surfer and drax the destroyer boom cgc 9.4 white pages absolutely classic i love this cover like this shit is right here is the bomb all the silver surfer stuff from 44 up until like the late 50s all the covers are absolutely fantastic and then obviously this leads into the infinity gauntlet storyline first appearance of the infinity gauntlet thanos and drax appearance direct editions include tiger electronics insert so this is a direct edition jim starlin story ron lim and tom christopher cover and art ron lim is the goat Thanos artist. I'm I'm just saying that I love Jim Starlin, but Ron Lim took it to another another level. This right here in this 9.4 is valued at $77.33. Next up, and this is a recent book, a fantastic homage done by a fantastic artist. This is Silver Surfer Ghostlight number five, probably one of my favorite homages ever in comics. Homaging Silver Surfer number four from volume one. 
This is in a CGC 9.8 white pages. This is a big time collectibles exclusive cover done by Felipe Masafera. This thing right here, when I saw this, ah, boom, my head exploded. This shit is so crazy. Big time collectibles and Epic Nation collectibles exclusive. Silver Surfer number four. Cover homage, like I said. John Jennings story. Valentine Delandro art. Felipe Masafera cover. This fantastic. I love this cover. I actually stopped <laughs> collecting Silver Surfer Ghost Light. I got two issues in and I was just like, yo, this shit is garbage. But once I saw this, I knew I needed to grab that. This is valued at $52.71. Up next, another Felipe Masafera homage, a virgin cover, this time homaging that Silver Surfer number 44 that we just saw a few moments ago. This is Silver Surfer Rebirth number one from March of 2022. This is a Comic Mint Virgin Edition, Virgin Exclusive, CGC 9.8 White Pages, signed by Felipe Masafera. This thing right here, another fantastic homage, taking the existing piece of art and elevating it. This right here is just fantastic. Ron Mars story, Ron Lim and Don Ho art, Felipe Masafera cover. Absolutely love this. This right here, valued at 100 bucks. Next up, we have possibly the most important independent comic book since Spawn 1 was released back in the 90s. And this is Something is Killing the Children number one from 2019. CGC 9.8 White Pages. When I got back into comics, all I heard were people talking about something is killing the children. So I was just like real heavy into Marvel. I was not really dipping my toe into indies, but I was just like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me check this out. Got the trade paperbacks and I was not disappointed. Granted, I think something is killing the children reads better if you're reading it in a trade paper pack as opposed to reading the monthly floppies. Was so happy I got this. I actually purchased this off my guy, my brother from another mother, Tyler from Wack Comics. He was liquidating some stuff and then I got this from him. Something is Killing the Children, number one. First appearance of Erica Slaughter, James Tinian, the fourth story. Werther Del Adera, cover and art in a 9.8. This is one of those books, if you see it for a decent price, pick it up, especially now that everything is kind of like resetting. If you see this for like five or under, grab it. This one right here is valued at $585. And I just mentioned this book a few moments ago when I said Something is Killing the Children was probably the most important independent book since this bad boy was released right here arguably the most important independent book ever released and this is spawn number one from may of 1992 cgc 9.8 white pages signed by creator todd mc Farlane. And I love that he wrote Todd, not T. McFarlane. First appearance of Spawn, Al Simmons. Pit pinup and Dale Known and Spawn pinup by George Perez. Never knew that. Pull out Spawn poster. Signed by Todd McFarlane on October 11, 2017. Todd McFarlane story, cover, and art. CGC 9.8 white pages. I got this book before YouTube. This was one of the slabs. When I started getting slabs, I was just like, I need this book. This was super important to me. Back in the day, I, I was diehard Marvel all day, every day this was the first book that i was just like you know what i'm gonna take a chance on image for some reason my brothers put it in my mind that anything other than marvel was just garbage and they were wrong got spawn number one back then and i wasn't disappointed this is not the version from back in the day this is obviously i bought the slapped up already i absolutely love this book fantastic classic cover and this one right here valued at 150 dollars. next up going old school to the 1970s we have strange tales number 180 from june of 1970 75 this is the first appearance of gamora cgc 7.5 off white the white pages this is pretty pretty dope i'm a big adam warlock fan and i got this i want to say out of a wink ink or exec collects out of one of his mystery boxes a 50 dollars mystery box and we wind up pulling this classic first appearance jim starlin story and cover jim starlin and alan weiss art again i'm a big fan of adam warlock why did i keep this because sometimes i'll get slabs and then i'll sell them i kept this because i was just like you know what i want to collect all first appearances so if i get a first appearance in a mystery box or a win or something like that i might just keep it so that's what i did i don't have any like real sentimental value toward this book other than hey it's a first appearance i want it in the pc this book is valued at 95 dollars last but certainly not least this right here i was having a bad day i went on ebay and i just bought this that's how i do whenever i'm having a bad day or something is going you know difficult at work or something like that i always tend to just buy stuff that's the way that i deal with things and i wind up getting this and this is the 
first appearance of the leader, or should I say the first cameo appearance of the leader, the Incredible Hulk's arch nemesis. Tales to Astonish number 62 from December of 1964, CGC 4.0 off white, the white pages. First appearance of the leader, cameo, chameleon appearance, new wasp costume, and a Hulk pinup, Stanley Story, Jack Kirby cover, Carl Burgos, Dick Ayer, Steve Ditko, and George Russo's art. I knew I wanted to collect all the Tales Tale Astonish stuff that involved the Incredible Hulk, so I wanted to collect 59 up until 101, and I wind up doing that within a couple of months, which is a fantastic feat. This 4.0, like I said, I was just like, let me just, let me just get that, and then I was happy once I got it, and then filed it, and it was on to the next thing that's how us common collectors do we get things we want file it away and then it's just on to the next glad i got this in the pc though this right here is valued at 97 dollars. so that's it for episode 10 of how much is my slab collection worth five on each side let me know down in the comments which slab out of these 10 is your favorite we only got a couple of episodes left of this series and i'm like thinking damn what should i do next of course we have to do the total value so what's the total value of these 10 10 slabs. And that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, consider joining the Link Squad, and as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.